Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Garden of Banban 6. Now, it's been a little while since the last Garden of Banban released, and I'm sure you guys remember what happened. If you don't, just go and check out my last playthrough. But to be honest, the story's pretty crazy and uh, all over the place, so um, you'll probably pick it up as we go. With that said, this has just come out today. Want to shout out the developers for giving me an early code so I could record it. And uh, we're going to dive straight in and see what madness awaits us in the latest episode of Garden of Banban. Ooh, an operating room. So we always have this same message. For a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. You click the clock. Oh, it says protect the queen, protect the scepter piece, and hide. Yeah, because in the last episode, of course, the queen died. Her little um, joeys escaped her pouch, the naughty ones as they're called. And um, the scepter, I think, was down in the depths of a facility. And we went with Captain Toadster to try and find it. Oh, it just says hide, and hide is checked got a baby's rattle up there now. I think that's changed. Protect the queen. Crossed off. Yeah, because we failed. Protect the scepter? Question mark. Well, I'm sure we're going to find out if we can do that in this episode. And then it's circled. Right, let's do this, guys. Let's get some Bam Bam on the go. Oh my god. That was abrupt as Toadster. Hello, Toadster. The thought of what could be happening on the floor above terrifies me. Picture hundreds of angry animals finally escaping, with only one thing capable of giving them peace. And that's to get you and your friends. Their captors. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're in big trouble, partner. We can't stay here long. Unless you want to be swallowed whole with sharp teeth making you easier to digest. Alright. Well, I could have worked that out for myself. We need to keep moving, we're in trouble, yeah. You're not the smartest cookie in the jar, are you? That's probably a weird phrase to use. Um, okay guys, well, I guess we, uh, we get started then. Oh my god, wait. Why is Stinger Flynn dead? He didn't die in the last episode, did he? Is he just weakened? His legs all broken, what the heck? I guess, uh... Rest in peace, Stinger Flynn, right? Maybe you'll come back later, I don't know. This game's already crazy. Okay, so we need to uh, spawn in our little uh, drone. There it is, our friendly drone. And we need to hit this button over here. So hopefully it won't hit Toadster. No, that didn't work. Man, this is actually tricky. I can't get the, uh, the drone to follow my instructions. There we go. And now he's hit Captain Toadster. Go over there. Now hit this. Hit the button, please. Please hit the button. Hey, finally, thank you, little drone. Okay, will this open? No? Why didn't it work? Oh, there's a key card. It's on the table. Floor five. Okay, great. We've got the key card. Now we can go through. Oh my god, what is that sound? Is that bitter giggle? I think so. That's our ticket out of here, partner. Let's go. Who knows where we're going? Look at the walls. Come on. Follow me. I know a place we can go. No, you follow me. Prettiest, but it should be unoccupied at least. He says follow me. I was ahead of him. Right, come on, Toadster. What the heck is this place? It's like got street lamps and stuff. This is insane. Why would they use these street lamps down here? What? Oh no! Come on. <laughs> We can't stay in the run, dark. Run, run. Let's head to that light over there. I'm going. There's multiple lights, though. I'm just going for this one. We've already got a chase on the go, guys. Oh, my goodness. We're in, like, a forest or something. What Phew. the heck? We should, we should be, be safe, safe for now. Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back down, guys. Where are we going now? Oh, there's all the mascots. What the heck is this Man, place? Man, do I not miss this place. This is where I took refuge after being dumped down here by your kind. Many cold and lonely nights have been spent here. Ones that I wish to forget. Is that the scepter there? I was found by the queen at Bittergiggle and a couple of others. And was foolish enough to let myself believe that things could get better. 
but here I am, back to square one. Like I told you earlier, we need to get the Queen's Scepter as soon as possible. It's the one thing that can allow us to recontain the naughty ones and seal the door behind them. We had it stored in this room away from anyone that could get to it, hoping we would never have to use it again. But here we are. The door opens by activating four switches scattered across the different sectors on this floor. The naughty ones despise the light. You should be safe from them as long as you stay in lit spaces. The first thing we should do is find a way to safely get to the other sectors. Let's have a look around. Man, that music is tragic. The tragedy of Captain Toadster. Let's go and have a look around then. Oh look, we've got pipes we can climb up by the look of it. That's kind of strange. Uh, this is where we play our tapes. This is where we customise our drone and get different hats. We'll put a Santa hat on him as it's almost Christmas. And should we make him red? Yeah, make him red. There we go. Apply. Let's see what our drone looks like now. Come on drone, I want to see what you look like. Here he is. With his little Santa hat on. Look at that. Very stylish, very Christmassy, very festive. Okay, now let's go and look at these guys. So, Nab Nab, Queen Bouncelia, Slow Celine, Jumbo Josh, Bambolina, Bam Bam, A Pillar Bird, Captain Fiddles, Stinger Flynn, who might be dead now, Sheriff Toadster, and Nab Nalina. We're in the storage bay. We've got the introduction sector, the conditioning sector, and the potentiality sector. Whatever that is. Okay. We've got a hat. Sombrero, hey. Okay. So I've had a little look around here, guys. I'll check out the other side, just in case we missed anything. Oh, there's a secret note, guys. The criminals have won. They gained my trust. They had me believe they were deliverers of justice alongside me, only to throw me down here like filth as soon as they deemed me not up to their standards. Those rats will pay. All criminals will pay. All criminals will pay. All criminals will pay. From here on out, there is no more letting my guard down, and no more tricking me. From here on out, there is no authority but me. Guessing that's a note from Captain Toadster there. About his uh, downfall. I saw you poking through the bushes over there. Did you find something? Uh, nope. Not your tragic backstory or anything. Okay, we can't go through there, guys. I think we're gonna have to, like, try and climb up these pipes, to be honest. Let's try it. Up we go. Hey, okay. This is working. Go! Oh my god, it's a bit floaty, guys. Can I jump up this bit? No, I can't. I'm gonna have to jump across. Surely I can't jump that far. You can actually jump across. Wow, this person should get into the Olympics. They can jump far. Okay. So, what are we doing? Oh my god, we've got to do another jump. Go! Ugh. We made it. Now up here? Yes? No? No, we've got to go around. This is actually insane. Alright, let's try another jump. Yeah. Careful up there! Okay, don't shout when I'm jumping, man. Concentrating here the heck? Okay, we're almost at the top. We've done this first time, actually. It's surprising. Okay, now we just got to make this final jump. Ah! We're in! It's dark, though. He's, he said not to be in the dark. I can't see anything, guys. It's way too dark. Oh, this way. What is this? The heck is that? Oh, my God. What is that thing? Guys, what is that? I can't move. I'm sort of frozen to the spots. Hello! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is that meant to happen? I don't think that was meant to happen, guys. We just died. Please say that I have to do the jumping section again. If they haven't checkpointed me at the top of that jumping section, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> oh, they have. Good game developer. You get top points for that. So I've taken that now. Oh, what's this? You feel strange. Wait a second, so the death actually happened because our item is still gone. Huh. Can I go this way now? That's interesting, so we definitely got reincarnated then. And we feel strange now. 
Is that going to open? Yeah, we, we open the drawer. Oh, we got another one. The heck is this? Is that monster going to show back up? Your toy is now equipped with a light source. Ah, oh, wait. Is that the drone that it means, the toy? I don't know. We've got a light source, though, guys. Can I open this? No, we have to come back later to get whatever's in there. Okay, well, let's go back down. Now, do I have to jump all the way back down, or can I kind of just, like, cheese this a little bit? Yeah, you can, you can cheese it. There we go. So, we've got a light source for the drone now. Wait. There's Bambolina. What are you doing there, Bambolina? Hey, partner. You happen to know anything about someone who tricks others and imprisons them? This dame claims someone kidnapped and imprisoned her for some time, but she managed to escape. I didn't get a good look at them. I have a feeling the culprit is incredibly clever and good at what he does, and that he's very handsome. I didn't say that. It was you! My gut feeling's never wrong, and something tells me he is very no, handsome. No, no offense, but you're the but opposite. The, right place, <laughs> the opposite of handsome. It should be safe here for now. My students are my responsibility. I can't teach them without a full attendance list. The principal would be very mad if I did. We ought to find the culprit, but let's make sure we're alive to do so first. How about you head over to the introduction sector and look for the first switch? I'll have Stinger Flynn transported here. Mrs. Mason, you seem to have been through a lot. Oh, that is that Weatherly we Mason character. To stay focused. Confirmed. I think you should rest for now. May we get through this alive. Yeah, we thought this was Weatherly Mason, so we've had, like, the kind of people who are in these mascots confirmed now. With Adam Uffman inside Bam Bam and Weatherly Mason inside uh, Bambolina, as we fought. And it seems like Stinger Flynn's not dead. He just mentioned him. Wait, this is where we've got to get to at the end, right? Yeah, we've got to go back, guys. You say the introduction sector we've got to go to first? I don't know. Can I go this way? Apparently this has a light source on it now. Come on. Hey, yeah, look. It's got a light source. Nice. So do we just kind of like follow the light? Come on, quicker. No, don't leave me behind. Little robot. Little robot friend. Gotta stay in the light. There should really be a way to make this go a little bit faster. But we got there, I think, guys. We're at the foot of the steps. Up we go. Okay. Oh, we got a note as well. What's this doing? Is this lighting our path behind us? No, it's lit this section up, I think. Dear Mommy, we will not talk to the face like Miss Mason said. Huh. Scared Miss Mason, me, Claire, and a party. Oh, and that's that Zolfius character, the giant face. So apparently, they're not to talk to the face. Interesting. Right, come on, little drone. This way. Can we go through? Yes, we can. The doors open. Nice. So there's lots of different tables with buttons, guys, but none of them seem to be active right now. We've got a door over here. Can we access the door? It looks like a blue door, though. Nope, we need a key card for that door. Okay. What's this? Light bulb. Four chairs. And then some colours. And it says start here. Hmm. Oh look, there's different coloured light bulbs. I wonder if those mean like the lights here, like is that gonna be like the blue light? And then we've got one here as well. A red one. Would that be like the red light up there? And then the yellow light up there. I guess that's what it means. And maybe these chairs correspond to the chairs here. So we have to like match up the colours, like line by line, I guess. But the buttons don't work on the tables, so I'm not sure how we do that. Wait, there's a message up here. Let's read this. It says, Your daily dose of motivation. Life is a series of events played in the correct order. Hmm. So yeah, we have to do it in the correct order, I guess. Like, press these buttons in the correct order. Depending on what the colours are on these uh, images. But, 
we can't access the buttons. Some arrows? I guess to control the lights, but they're not working. Nothing works in this place, what the heck? <laughs> it's all broken. We've got some more different colours here. So another pattern to follow. I guess to open this. Oh wait, 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 what's this? Ooh, we got our blue key card, guys. Okay, so we do have the key card now. We can now use the key card on the door here. And hopefully it opens. Yep, there we go. Oh my god, it's Bitter Giggle. What do you want? Uh, are they gone? Who? Who are you talking about, man? Don't worry, I... I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not worried about you, man. You're I've not very done threatening. enough damage as it is. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done and trying to take you down, but I'm sorry. I truly am. You're a failure. I don't know what came over me. I just couldn't hold myself back. I knew the consequences well. And I still went ahead and said that STUPID JOKE! And now the Queen's probably dead because of me. Yep, how'd you feel? I wouldn't blame you if you don't forgive me. But I will be very thankful if you do. <laughs> Just know that I'll do my best to make up for what I did. You're here for the switch. For the room where the scepter is, right? Yep, that's correct. It's in here, but it's inside of that locker. I can't figure out what to do. Well, that's because you're an idiot who tells stupid jokes and gets people killed. But, uh, I mean, I guess you're a bit of a mess, so... We can't really blame you. I forgive you, in fact. There we go, we're gonna be Mr. Nice Guy today. We forgive Bitter Giggle. Let's go and do what we usually do then, guys, and go and sort this out for him. What can we do in here? Oh, Wait, what's that? Headphones? Okay. Uh, we've got a button. I wonder if this has activated the tables over here. It has. Okay, they're all lit up now. So now we have to follow the pattern that we see in these images, I guess, to match up with the tables. So this is the first one. Second is... It's this one over here, guys. We just gotta match these up. I might skip to the end of this. You probably don't want to see me do all of these colour matches. Okay, this should be the last one for the red. Hey, Yeah, and look, the lights come on, the red light. So yeah, you match these up with the tables, guys, in the correct order, and it turns on the lights. So, we'll do that with each of them. Again, I'm not going to show you all of this because it would be very boring, I think, watching me do all of this. It takes a while. But yeah, we ba basically match these up. And uh, once we've got the correct colour, we press the button, like that. So there we go. Alright, this should be it. Yes! We've got all three what lights. What are all of these colourful lights for? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we, Bitter Giggle? Well, I'm going to find out. You're just going to stand there like a fool, but it's fine. I also want to just check out, there was one last one at the top here, guys. So, let me just check this out. Yeah, we need to do this one as well. Alright, guys, I think we've done this now. This should open the locker at the top. Hey, I heard a noise. What are all of these colourful lights for? But what's going to be in here? Anything? Oh, a note. Case update report. This is case 14, the Queen. As per management's request, further research on case 14 Scepter has been conducted in pursuit of observing what was previously referred to as its magical powers by case 14. Referring to case 14's human genome donor, unannounced to case 14 as to not repeat what has occurred with case 6, and Caretaker has pointed out that there are no official records of a scepter ever being manufactured and given to case 14. The scepter on any official records exists only as a mural. Case 14 refuses to elaborate on where she received the scepter, always citing misremembrance as the reason. It is evident that Case 14 is not happy with the decision to have her transported to the lower levels, 
Although the same calm and reasonable demeanour persists, it now possesses a previously non-existent stance on refusing to cooperate. Case is permanently not ready for presentation. So it seems like the scepter didn't exist other than like, you know, a, mu a mural on the wall, like a drawing on the wall, but somehow it was magicked into existence by the Queen. And the Queen really didn't want to come down here, so there we go guys, a bit of lore. Seems like these mascots can create stuff from drawn images almost, which is very strange. Anyway, we're going to play around with these lights now. I think we've got to try and make a message appear on the board over there. So let's move the lights and see what this actually does. Has that done anything? Oh yeah, look. There we go. We have to move it one bit at a time though. It says Bam Bam's Kindergarten. And I'm guessing we want it to be on the... Uh, projection screen there, or the whiteboard, or whatever it is. Alright. Red, you're up. It's so slow, what the heck? Is that okay? Maybe one more? Okay, that kind of works. It's good enough. It's getting a bit of colour put into it now. Now we want to do this one, right? This one needs to go this way. One more should do it. Hey, take your seat now. We've got to hide, get in here, what the heck? Oh my god, guys, we've got to be quick. Go, go, go. Ah, I'm in. I'm safe. What was coming for us? The naughty ones? We gotta wait till whatever video is playing outside ends. Don't say a word. Hello? Oh, what the heck? Anybody in there? It's your friend, Bam Bam. No, it's not. I need your help. He's out already? Don't even think about opening this door. I don't believe it's Bam Bam. Oh, no. What the heck? Unless it's like the demonic open version up. of Bam Bam. Open up. He's trying to bust in. Open up. He's kicking the door open down. Up. Open ah. up. Go away. The lights are turning back on. I think the video is ending. It's worse than I thought. And it's all because of me. We should go back to wherever you came from. On the way back, I'll think of some jokes that might distract the sheriff from obliterating me on sight. I'm sure that'll go well for you. Your jokes are, you know, S tier after all. Anyway, we've got something in here. Oh, it's a button to get to the scepter room. Let's press it. There we go. Objective complete. All right, come on, bitter giggle. Come with me. We didn't get to see the video, though. I'm just going to have a little quick look around this area, guys, in case I've missed anything. Oh, we have a tape. Nice. Okay, we've got the tape. Let's go back. We'll watch the tape. Come on, bitter giggle. You nuisance. You menace. You're a menace with your jokes. You know that? All right, guys, let's head back. Oh, the lights are turning on now. Wait, can we just run to the lights? We can. We can just run to the lights. Okay, this makes sense. But I can kind of hear something out there in the darkness. What the heck is that sound? Screw this. Did he just say dada? It must be the little baby naughty ones. Look, they've made a little fort outside, guys, a barricade to keep them out. They've been busy. They've built a whole thing here. What the heck? You have a lot of guts showing up here, bitter giggle. I should take you out where you stand. Tell the joke. Did you really think that I'd allow you in here? Tell the joke. And look who it is. My partner in fighting crime turns out to be working with our most wanted criminal behind my back. He's followed me, man. I had a bad had feeling no choice. about you the moment I saw you. I wanted to use you as bait for the other criminals. But the queen insisted we give you a chance. Should have gone with my instincts. That's because she's nice and like you. Usual, I was right. And you're ugly, by the way. You two should go. Your fate in here won't be much better than your fate out there with the naughty ones. I don't need no partners. I'll find Little Beak. And together, we'll rid the world of monsters like you. Okay, he got slammed. What the heck? Oh my god, Bambolina has been taken. What the heck was that thing? No! I'll save you! Don't go out Let's there! Get out it's of dark! Here. Where are you running? 
I guess I just follow you now. You're my buddy. That's locked, by the way. Oh, there's Stinger Flynn. You're actually alive. Okay. We're safe for now. So, there's that. I thought you'd that. just given up on life, oh, to be honest. <laughs> it's you two. The duo of destruction. Didn't you cause all of this to happen? I did. And I plan to make up for it. Everyone that you care to see you redeem yourself is probably already gone. So what's the point? How do you even talk? Jellyfish have no brain! We should go turn on the other switches of the door. Let's head to the potentiality sector next. Man, stuff just happens in this game, doesn't it? Like, we got back, they built a whole barricade somehow in like 10 minutes. And then... Literally... This giant slug thing comes out, steals Bambolina, Sheriff Toadster ran off into the darkness where he told us not to go. It's madness. Alright guys, let's go and watch the video before we continue. See what this is all about. Ooh. It's that, um... I can't remember its name, it's like... Chamatan and Kamatan, is that right? I don't know. It's basically a turtle-lizard hybrid, we just saw it in a room. We're gonna go to the potentiality sector next, I think he said. So that's this way. Oh, this is where we want to be, I think. All right, we've made it to the next area, guys. And our drones just hit a lamppost. Come on. That's it. A little further. My little Santa drone. Okay, we're here. So now, we've got this weird thing here again. And a key card. You're blocking my way. Man, he won't move. Alright, you know what? Screw you. I'm just going in on my own. Oh, okay, what's going to be in here? We've got an X for the drone there. What is this place? Come on, man. We have to get back together. What? <laughs> Not a chance. Your jokes are trash. You'll have one leg. Everybody will think you're the joke when you're hopping around like a bunny. We must get back together to prevent that. Oh, you make a good point. Let me think about it for a second. Never! What the heck? So they were the same thing, but split in half. And they were still alive somehow. And I think they've just, um, unalived themselves, you know. <laughs> Can we see any collectibles before we explore? Oh my goodness, there is one. We've got to actually navigate this to get to it, though. Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try this. I want that hat. I want that hat. It's very fashionable for my drone. We got it. Okay, now we just want to not fall down. I wonder if we can, like, just drop from here, because there's a tape down there. Ah! Uh, it worked! Okay, we dropped down to the lower level, nice. So now, we want to use our drone to hit this. Come on, drone, you can do it. Go over here. There we go. Now, go up to the button. You can do it, you can do it! Oh, he doesn't do it, are you kidding me? Wait, let's see if we can get him to hit this. Maybe he'll actually do that. Alright, he's done that. Now will he hit this button? Nice. Oh, I know what we have to do, guys. I know what we have to do. Now we go back upstairs. Oh, wait, this is Bitter Giggle. Why is he here? Buddy. I will find it! The perfect joke! I might have lost a leg, but it will all be worth it in the end. I just have to make sure I don't lose the other one! <laughs> but I must remember, absolutely no more jokes about being trapped in a kangaroo's pouch! <laughs> Is that even Bitter Giggle? I think that's like another experiment, right? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm very confused by this game. Anyway, let's open this. So basically, guys... Oh, it's Ban Ban. Hello. Did you try and kill me recently? Glad to know you survived the madness happening outside. 
I've seen cases escape containment before, but nothing this crazy. You're not much of a talker, so I'm going to assume you're here for an important reason. You wouldn't risk your life to be here otherwise. Whatever it is, I'll come with you. Okay, but first I've got something to do. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna place the drone down on this X marks of spots. Let's see what this does, it should hit the button. Hey, there we go. Right, and it looks like that has activated the door. So come on Bam Bam, we're going for a little adventure together, just don't attack me in your demon form. Still not sure if that was him earlier or not. Door opens, let's go. Whoa, what is this? What the heck? We've got Bam Bam statues, we've got palm trees. We've got grass by the look of it and hedges. What is this place? Bam Bam, explain yourself. Tell us what this place this is. This one needs opening as well. Okay, well I'll open it then. Free you go then. Your head just twists like the exorcist, doesn't it? It's mad. Look at this. What the heck is Look at this? this place. I know, right? It seems really familiar, but I'm not sure where I could have ever seen something like this. I mean, you worked here, right? Surely you remember it. Look, it's another of you. We've got Bam Bam statues. It says, Exercising is the way to become Jumbo. Better start pushing. So I guess we gotta, we got to push these. We've got a light over here. Bam Bam, touch lights. There's a light there. So we've got to get Bam Bam to the lights. And then there's more lights over here. Okay, so we've got to do this twice, I guess. Anything over here? A locked door. We need the red key card, which I guess is in that little shed there. Got a button up here. What does that do? Who knows? Got a note as well. So this is Case 8 for Spider. Case 8 has escaped containment during one of its sessions, and it's believed to be hiding somewhere on the first floor from the surface down. The reclamation team has been notified of this emergency, and they have also been informed of a danger that Case 8 possesses. All staff members have been informed of tomorrow's mandatory training session where they will be read to everything recorded about Case 8 and effective ways of fighting back should you come into contact with it. Two confirmed lives have been claimed during Case 8's escape, with three others currently missing. Case 8 will be caught and will not claim any more lives. Case is not ready for presentation, well obviously not. It's been claiming lives. I guess we get started with this puzzle then guys, we've got to get Bam Bam all the way over to the other side. So we're going to need to make space on the board, So to do this, we're going to want to do, we're going to kind of want to move them around, I think. We want to put Bam Bam on the board to begin with as well, at the start, I think. So if we move him over there, like this. Come on, there we go. I don't know how we're pushing this statue, it's huge. And then we need to make space for him to move up. Like this. Okay, so now we move him up. Now we start moving these over here and pushing them down. This is actually going to take ages. Guys, I'm going to move this one down now. Because we're going to start needing to move this one down at some point. Uh, we'll move this to the middle. This one down. This one along. This one along. Now move Bam Bam up. I think this one over here. This one along. I think. This one down. This one here. To the side. I'm probably taking way longer than I need to on this. Now we can move these back up. Give ourselves more space. Move this along. Oh my god, this actually takes ages. And then move this down. <laughs> move Bam Bam along. And move him up. There we go. Alright. There we go, Bam Bam. We've got you to the light. 
Oh, this doesn't... This doesn't let up, guys. Wait a second. Why isn't this let up? Okay, so I think we have to get Bam Bam maybe back to the other light over the other side, guys. Um, I think we have to move him all the way back across the board to this light now to activate the second, um, the second row over there, I think. Hopefully this will be it now, right? Hey! Yes, and now this light's activated. Okay, so now we can do this one. So... We're gonna want to move that up. This up. And this up. Now we can move Bam Bam up. And now, what we're gonna want to do is start moving them round anti-clockwise like this start moving Bam Bam up and I think we just have to keep doing this like going round and round so that they can uh, all move up one space at a time it's very slow progress but it's all good I really hope we don't have to repeat this one again though because if we do that's gonna suck Okay, move this down, move this along. I think we've done it. Finally, we've got Bam Bam's butt in our face. Hey, no, we gotta do it again. All right, I'm just gonna say this section uh, could have just done with like two lights, one to there and then one to here. Like that would have been fine, but it's fine, guys. Uh, again, I'm not gonna show you this whole process again. I'll cut to when I finished it. Alright, here we go, finally. Is that enough? Yes! Will the door open now? Yes! It has! We got the key card. Thank goodness, I never want to do this puzzle again. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. So, we're going over to this door. Key card, it works. Door, it opens. Oh my god, what the heck? What is that? What is that doing in here? What is it? Just jumped a hedge. Explain yourself, Bam Bam. What is that? You used to be a scientist here, right? Oh, I don't know. It's almost open. Right. So, do we have to press this again? No? Oh, wait. What's this? Hey, a stick. Is that guy over there a friend of yours? Oh my god, what the heck? You can tell him to get down. Let's hide, now. let's hide, let's it's hide. It's not like we're going to eat his pancreas. I'm hiding in here, guys. Oh, he got Bam Bam this time. What the heck? So, you are my liberator. What the heck? Did you get my warning. You had your chance to escape my mayhem. Oh my god. Oh, Bitter Google got him. <laughs> he grew a spine. Yeah! What the heck? I can't open it, guys. Let's prize the door open with our new stick. Hey, okay, now we got the key card. We can open the door. That was so weird. Is Bam Bam okay? Is he dead? Nah, he'll be fine, surely. Bitter Giggle came to our rescue. That thing looked like a giant leech or something. Are you okay, buddy? No, you've been pancaked. Well, I guess we just leave these two here. I mean, I'm sure they'll come back to life at some point. If we can reincarnate, so can they, right? I don't know what that giant thing was. I think it was meant to be like a slug or a leech because we saw like a baby version of it. But I'm getting out of here, guys. I'm not sticking around to find out what that giant thing was. Screw that. All right, we're back in here, and look, we can actually use this key card to get through this door here. Make some progress. Nice. It's a bit dark, though. I guess we just head down. Hopefully nothing comes for us. Okay, here we go. Oh man, what is this? Let's stay together. Oh, you're back. 
as if nothing happened. My <laughs> head hurts. Did you see where Sir Dadadu went after our skirmish? Dadadu? Wait, I know this place. The switch should be on the office above, but getting in there won't be easy. We would have to activate the four locks of the door from down here, but they need fixing first, and they need power. I can fix them if there's power, but I remember the sheriff rigging the power switch so that it would alert the entire facility to our location if activated. It would trigger an alarm, which is sure to attract some unwanted guests. If you could cover me from above while I fix these switches down here, we might just be able to get into that office. How am I gonna cover you? I'm ready when you are. How am I gonna cover you? What, what, what do you mean? Like I've got no weapons, I've got a drone. Is that gonna help? What's this? Another note. The spider again. The reclamation team has failed to recontain case eight for the fifth time since its escape, and the death toll has reached the double digits just this morning. As per management's request, awareness meetings about Case 8 and its dangers, with mandatory attendance of all staff, will be held weekly to ensure minimal loss of life. We ask management to consider a different approach to recontaining Case 8, as the current methods prove futile every time. We suggest a non-violent approach that consists of luring Case 8 to wherever it can be trapped instead of going and looking for it. Our experts propose that another case similar to Case 8 in appearance and mannerisms will pique its curiosity enough to lure it out of hiding. We await management's decision on how to proceed. So there we go guys, bit of lore to do with the monster, the spider monster. So how are we gonna protect the guy from, uh, from up here, I guess? Move the lights? All right, start the reboot, so let's go. Don't panic. Eyes on the that ceiling. What the heck? Keep your eyes on the 12 lights around me. Okay. If they turn red, point one of the light poles at them. So we gotta pull these things about. Them. Move these things about. If too many turn red without your interference, we're done for. Recharge ceiling light. Eyes on the ceiling too. The light up there needs to be recharged after each use. Okay. Here they come! Alright, let's do this thing. So we're gonna have to make sure we protect him by keeping the lights green, not red, guys. Um... Oh. I think there's one already coming on this side. Yeah. And I think we have to turn it down now. There we go. Got him. Guys, I'm gonna try and start charging up the- wait, what was that? What the heck is that thing? Giant slug, what the hell? Alright, I'm pressing this button. Be gone, slug. One down! There we go, guys. Okay, move this. We've got to recharge the light again. I'm gonna keep this going nice and fast. Right, he comes down again, I see. Now we activate that, and he goes. And now we can hopefully just get this going. And again. There we go. Keep those lights Two lit. More. Two more to go, so we're halfway there. Okay. He's coming down again. We need to get back. Press this button. Alright, done. Move that down. And along. And along again. Now we need to recharge the light. Is he gonna come down? Yes, he is. Excellent. I've got something for you, buddy. One more! Right, now we need to really do these lights. These lights are going red, like really red. Go! And then go. There we go. We got them. Let's recharge the light again, guys. Right, he's come down. I really need to get back to those lights. Quick. There we go, we got him. Right now. There we go, and up. We need to get these ones as well. And down. There we go. Back to recharge. Yes! 
We did it, guys. Activate the switch and let's head back. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Me neither. That was insane. That giant slug thing coming out. And all those little slugs emerging from the uh, from the walkways. It wasn't nice. What is this? Another note. The surgeon. Ooh, case four. Further research on case four's KAS score has been conducted, and as predicted by management, case four's score is far lower than even many of the shelved concepts, mainly due to case four equipping cases 10, 11, 12, and 13 of type five, or the mechanical arms, which proved to be frightening and hazardous to children. Potential replacement concepts for case four, including many previously shelved, have been forwarded to the management. Multitasking remains one of the most crucial lessons that has to be taught in the facility, so all potential replacements revolve around this theme. We await management's decision on how to proceed. The LLTT have been notified of this potential operation. Alright. Let's press this button guys, let's get out. I'm glad to be shut of this room, I'll tell you that much. I'll probably cut back to when we uh, arrive back at home base guys, because I have a feeling it's going to take us a while. We've been making great progress so far, and it's really getting my spirits up. I'm in the mood to tell a joke. Ready? No, I don't want your one of your jokes. They suck. What do you call a toad that's upset? I don't know what. Unhappy. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. That's awful. Oh no. What the heck? They liked it. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear it. It was, they it was very quiet. Laughed. Yeah, they like your Last jokes. Last time I told a joke, all I heard was yelling. Sorry, man. So if the naughty ones like his jokes, he better not betray us just because they like his jokes. Because I swear if that's what happens, I'm not going to be happy. We finally got back to home base though, guys. Here's Stinger Flynn. Right. Wait, who is this? Oh, it's Nab Nab. Nab Nab is in a cage. All right, Nab Nab, how's it going? And we got the Kitty Saurus thing, is that what it's called? I can't remember. Not happy to see it again though. All we need is one more switch and we're good to grab the scepter. I Excellent. guess you could say our day won't be set terrible for much longer. <laughs> that wasn't even a Anything joke, man. Anything happened while we were away? Nothing. It's strange. I agree. How is he alive Sir again? Do is up to no good. Nab now showed up. Although I'm not sure if anyone would be happy to hear this. He tried some of his usual shenanigans, so I put him in a cage. Also, your big cat friend just walked in here like he knew the place. I didn't dare get close to it. Really? I need to go see her! She's one of the few that appreciate my jokes! Tinger Flynn wanted a word. It feels weird being on the same side again after all that's happened. So, oh. So guys, yeah, I guess he didn't die, or if he did, he can regenerate like, like we can. But, um, yeah, he's back. Bam Bam's back. Good. I quite like Bam Bam. I've grown to like him, you know? Let's watch this video we picked up, this tape. Oh, there's Celine Snail, or Slow Celine, I think she's called. Let's just double check. Yeah, Slow Celine. All right, guys. Well, apparently Stinger Flynn wanted a word, so let's go and uh, hear him out. How are you doing, Jellyfish? I wanted to let you know that this is all happening because of you. Never convince yourself otherwise. If you hadn't intervened with my plan or the Queen's, you'd be home on your warm bed. I would be free of my shackles, and everyone you hurt would not have been hurt. And ask yourself this. If I wasn't hooked up to pipes that drained me of my Jivanium and shrunk my size, could my original size have aided us in our predicament? Because of your foolish decisions, we are even less likely now to ever get back to the children. I'm not sure they want to see it, to be honest. There's another thing I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. 
All right, what's gonna happen now? We're we gonna have another horror game crossover. We're gonna see Bendy or Poppy Playtime in here now. Oh, there's that Zolfius character. Morning, sleepy fellow. What the heck? You should have kept sleeping. We're still waiting for the bus. Man, I'm so tired. Quit whining. You're not the only one. Maybe sleep for a bit like Opila. A bit? She's been sleeping for days. The bus is here. Finally. This is so odd. <laughs> We're getting on the bus with the gang. Ignore that. It's not the correct one. Aw oh, man. What are we even doing all of this? I don't want to go to the beach anymore. I just want to go back. We cannot. We must get to the beach. I will be frank. I did not know it would be this difficult to reach our destination. If it weren't for your infuriating actions, we would not be in this current predicament. Really, Stinger? My actions are your non-existent driving skill. I think Opila can drive better than you and she doesn't even have hands. You sure you want to do this again? Do what again? No need to get aggressive. Actually, I think now would be the time that we just go home. Do you have any idea how to get back from here? Well, no, but the captain and I could definitely figure it out. Right, captain? I don't think he's uh, all with captain? it. Yeah, he's kind of zoned out. Another bus is here. No one wants to conversate with a being who is less useful than the seat they are sitting on. Is this wrong bus again? Oh, he's got off. He's, get, he's getting ready get to get on the bus. This is the wrong bus too. He doesn't care. He just doesn't want to listen to them bicker anymore. The captain got kidnapped. What are we gonna do? I'm thinking. Oh! Nab nab! No! We just lost two. This wasn't supposed to happen. We need to follow. Wait, is that the correct bus? Oh my god, it went straight into us. Um. Again, guys, I have no idea what is happening during those dream sequences. Maybe they're symbolic, right? But, um. Either way, as of the recording of this video, I have, uh. You know, I have no idea. Nothing comes to mind. Thanks for that weird vision, Stinger. Appreciate that. Let's go and see Bitter Giggle. There's Nab Nab. Oh, we got another key card. We should have the last switch activated. I found two of these key cards laying around. Ban Ben, I mean Uthman, took one and left one for you. He saw you taking a nap and decided to head there alone. You should be able to catch up with him. He gets really just erratic when I call him Ban Ban. Do you know why that is? Why? Oh, that was rhetorical, was it? Okay, cool. Um, well, thanks for the key card. We'll see you guys later, I guess. We're heading off, I guess, to get the last one now. Yeah, we've done all the other three, so we've got one more switch to push, and then we can access the scepter, guys. All right, guys, we've reached the area that we need to get to next. So let's turn on the switch. Oh, we got a video there. So let's turn this on. There's another one up this side as well. Another thing to power up. There we go. This should do it. Oh. Can we get in now? Looks like it. Whoa. Okay, what is this place? What the heck is that? Do we have to light that? We've got a button up there we need to get to. Let's check if there's any notes. There is a note, so let's read it. So this is the surgeon again, case four. As per management's request, all resources previously dedicated to case four will now be shifted to case 13, who has one of the more high KS scores than case four. Management instructed that Case 4 be transported to the lower levels indefinitely. 
but experts have presented an idea that they would like to present to management. While Case 4 has not demonstrated the best obedience, experts propose that Case 4 can be an invaluable asset to our team once the target Gervanium solution is manufactured given the tools that the case is equipped with. Experts predict that if taught operations and procedures, Case 4 can be assigned for harder and more dangerous tasks. There are no downsides to this arrangement. We await management's decision. Alright. So there we go. A little bit of lore about the surgeon character, guys. So we need to use our little uh, drone here to hit the buttons. Let's see if he's... Where is he? Here he is. Okay, hit the buttons, drone. Do me a favor here. I don't think he's going to reach, guys. Oh, he does reach. He does reach, but it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Alright, let's try and jump the hedge. Nice. Now, the button over here we could press, right? So let's have a look. Can we reach it? Jump! Yes, we got it. Alright, has that activated anything? Oh, it's activated this. I think this button's come on now. Could be wrong, though. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hey, that worked. Okay, I've got it. I know what I'm doing now. Jump to the button, then get the drone to hit the switch. So... Alright, let's try this. Jump! We got it. And that should have lit up the switch. So we can hopefully get our drone over here. Come on, drone. Hit the button. Hey! Okay, that's two down. Ooh, we've also got a key card here. I think we needed this key card, the green one, for something. We it was something that was locked earlier with a green card. We'll have a look at that later. For now, let's try and do this. Nice! Alright, we've got one more. It's over here. Once we've grabbed that, we'll be all done. Nice. And now we just need to hit the final one over here. Lovely! We're done! Okay, maybe this works. This is a big door, by the way. I don't know what's going to be kept in here, but it's something big. What is this? Oh, this is the room we saw at the start, I think. The operating room. It's the surgeon's room. What the heck? This looks like something out of Rick and Morty. Stop! Father told us not to talk to strangers. But we need help. Did you see our father around? He didn't come by today. He has more arms than you. More than us as well, obviously. If you see him, please tell him we need him to come back. So the surgeon made these things. They think the surgeon's their father. Okay. I'm not going to get involved in their family affairs. Why are we so small compared to all of this uh, apparatus? Like, we've got giant beds. Is the surgeon a giant? Surgeon mission. Syringian is looking for lollipops. He must be called Syringian. He's looking for lollipops for his patients. Find eight lollipops to get your prize. We've got to look around for lollipops. Okay. Is this one? Yep. There we go. That's one. We'll do this methodically, guys. Protect the scepter piece. I'm going to scour each corner of the room, bit by bit. There's one up there. There we go. One, two, three. There's one at the top, I can see it. There we go. That's four. Oh, there we go, five. Six. This is going well. Oh, there's one here. <laughs> Just hiding. We need one more. Oh, guys, it was down here. It was down here the whole time. Okay, we've got all eight now. That took me a while. There we go. Please open now. Thank you. Speed limit 15 miles an hour. What the heck is this doing here? There's a note. So this is about the queen. 
The first expedition since returning the scepter to Case 14 was dispatched today, and results were forwarded as very urgent. Given the impressive regenerative properties of Javanium, the expedition team have provided evidence that Cases 14 and 18 are using their own genomes to produce cases of their own. So because of this regeneration guys, this is why everybody is able to come back to life after they get killed. Like we saw with uh, like Ban Ban earlier in the chapter and stuff, and they're just really chill about it because they're used to it. Although research on subcases or cases that have two Javanium based entities uh, as the donors are defined in the employee handbook has been minimal. Experts predict that these subcases will have identical levels of obedience as their genome donors. Cases 9, 14, 17 and 18 would not have known that this is possible without insider information, and we believe case 4 to be the informer. Predictions show that a rebellion is imminent. We await management's instructions on how to proceed. So they were like making like clones essentially, but was meant to have like the same behaviour as the like originals, and this caused uh, the originals to rebel I guess. I think that's what that means. Anyway guys, um, what am I meant to do here now? Get the drone maybe? I don't know. It's too dark. Oh my god, what the heck? Quick, Guys, stay in the middle I just where dropped through a hole. You. I was about to set up a trap for that thing, but now we gotta get you out. What the heck happened? Quick, stay in the middle the where heck? it can't reach you. I was about to set up a trap for that thing, but now we gotta get you out. Actually, we can do both. You're surrounded by an electricity trap, but they need a lot of power. Big batteries scattered in the tents in the corners. Have something do as much noise as possible, and then make a run for it while it is distracted. So, that's the um, little beak after he fell into the Javanium, isn't it? It transformed into that monster, guys. I fell down here and instantly got killed, as you probably saw there. But yeah, we're apparently working with Bam Bam now to try and lure little beak in his evolved form to sound and then run to the tents. Go back to safety immediately. Okay guys, I think what we've got to do then is grab these so we can get to the tents and make some noise. I don't know if we meant to put them on this guy. It says it's incomplete. So maybe try and um, run back. Yeah, we made it. Okay, so he comes down almost straight away. We don't get a lot of time. So we've put that on him, okay. Now we've got to run to this one. Go back, go back, go back. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. Do we need more? It's incomplete. Yeah, we need this one. Oh my god. Go back, 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 back. Okay, we made it, we made it. There we go. Right, is that done now? Alright, so we push this out. Ah! Bird up. Okay. Oh, he's grabbed it. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Head to the running. lit tents. Head to the lit tents. Okay. So, we All grab the battery. Those two tents should be out of its reach. Okay. Oh! This area is out of its reach, apparently. Why? I don't know, guys. I have no idea how that's out of its reach, but it is. Right. Where's the other battery? What the heck? We're using the Javanium? Do we have to roll this back? What the heck? Are we rolling this so that it can grab that instead? I don't know what we're doing with this thing! Oh, it's gonna grab it. Alright, good. Now we go back. Now we go back, guys, as fast as we can. I don't think it'll fall for the same trick twice, but you still need the other battery. Try and distract it differently, even if slightly. Okay, we've got boxing gloves. So can we put boxing gloves? Yeah, we put boxing gloves on this to disguise it, that's silly. Ah! Leave us alone, little pillar birds. I know that you had a cruel fate, but still. Okay, we've got the uh, boxing gloves. Let's try this, guys. Let's push it out. 
we have to push it more? Ah! Okay, we're safe. Is it gonna come down? Yeah, it grabbed it. Go, go, go. Quick as we can to the tent, get the other battery. All right, we've got the battery, guys. Now we go around here. We're safe from it. Look at it looking at us. That horrible, monstrous thing. Okay, now we go in here. Chavanium again. We roll it. Keep rolling. Alright, now it should grab the Javanium. And then we can escape. How did we fall down all that way and not die, by the way? There it goes. It grabbed it. So now we go back. Now what do we do? Oh, there we go. That's one. That's two. It's activated and a large radius should be covered. Get the bird to dive one more time. Oh my god, we've got to go out in front of it. Go, 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 go! Oh, we did it! Nice! Wow, that was kind of epic. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work the first time, but never mind. We cooked it. Poor little beak. If we get through this, we should hire you as a safety trainer. I don't know how long we'll be safe for, so let's get out of here. Stay where you are and I'll see what I can do about that big door. Okay, cool. Man, that was kind of cool. I, I still don't know really like what's going on right now, but fair enough. We had a boss fight, we survived. We need to press that final switch now and we can get out of here, we can get the scepter finally. Feels like this chapter's been really long. Right, recharge. There's probably something in there, but I'm not going to look for it right now. I've been playing this for ages at this point. Oh, look, there's another one here. Secure an exit, okay. What? No, it's come back to life. Oh. Did it get squashed or just shut out? I guess that's the problem with Javanium. It just regenerates everyone. Oh. Oh, it's restored it. Little Beak's back, guys. He's run off, though. Aw, oh, well, at least he turned back. I was kind of sad when he got turned into that horrible kind of creature, you know? <laughs> He's been turned back now to his little cute self. Here's Ban Ban. That is not something I want to experience again. Me neither. I'll look for the switch where I am and you look where you are. Let me see if I can open that exit for you. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Go ahead. Press the thing. Nothing bad will happen. I promise. Yeah, I don't believe you. But I'm going to press it anyway. We've got to end this playthrough at some point. There. Now what happens? See? I told you nothing bad would happen. Good, you're not a liar. Now, I'm going to be going now, okay? I'm going to be heading off. Everything's fine. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen. Place your bets at what's going to happen. Because something will. Unless it was like literally a troll. And it's possible, you know, this game is crazy. Ooh. That's locked. This one. Is open. Okay, nice. Reorder? Wait, what? What do you mean, reorder? What is going on, guys? Oh. Okay. Jump. Jump. Oh, I see. So as we jump across, we get, like, knocked off. Alright, so I think what we have to do, guys, is basically... We have to, like, reorder this so that we can start jumping across it. So... We wanna... 
not get knocked off by that giant arm. But it's tricky. Because which way do we go now? This way? I guess so. But if we jump forward, we're going to get knocked off, aren't we? Unless we can jump backwards. Yeah, and then jump forward now. I get it. Okay, and now we'd want to go this way. So we don't get knocked off by this arm. Ooh, I think we can go again. Oh my god, that was close. Oh, but I think that's going to swing around that way. We could get screwed here, guys. No! Oh, man. This is so hard. I don't want to have to show you guys this every time, so I'll try and, like, show you my progress bit by bit, I guess. Okay, guys, we're doing well here this time. I think we can afford to jump to this one. Now we can jump to this one. Jump to this one. Jump to this one. Jump to this one. I think we're going to do it. And again. And again. Yes, we made it finally. That took me about five attempts. But we're good. We made it. Finally, we've got the key card. Is there anything else here? No. So what do we do now? Drop down? I guess so. It's not like our legs have a break from uh, falling that kind of height. So we're going to head back. We've got the key card we needed. I don't know where we use it yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll find out. Not that door. Is it up here? This is the only way I haven't been yet. Is up these stairs. Ooh, we got an ominous looking room ahead of us, guys. What is this? It works. The key card works. Ooh. Oh, we're back here. Nice. Yeah, boy, we're out. We're out. Let's go. Everybody's back, guys. All the lights are on. We've arrived back. Look at this. Woo! We did it. When, when I, couldn't I couldn't find the switch on my floor, I headed back. back. Figured I'd get I lost get trying to find you. you. You just couldn't be bothered, could you? But you did it! We can now put an end to this chaos. Hold on. First, I need to do something. I don't think he'll have naughty ones to worry about soon. I haven't even seen a naughty one yet, have I? Unless that's what the slug things were. Oh, we release him. Nab Nab comes out. Where's he gone? Okay, he's just get he's run away. Room. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, but before we do, actually, didn't we have a, like a, a tape or something? Let's just watch our tape, guys. Oh. Is that the appeal of birds? I think so. I honestly do not know the point of those tapes because they don't really give us any story information. But never mind. Here we go, then. I'd be seeing this room again this soon. The surgeon is supposed to be in here protecting the scepter. Where'd he go? I doubt he was caught by the naughty ones. Everything would be in shambles if he was. Well, we can only look for him if we have the scepter. All right. Is this a scepter? Do I have to press something? Recharge? Is it that? It seems eerily simple to just click the eject button. Are we sure we want to press it? No! Oh no! Nab Nab! Nab Nab, you fool! What are you doing? You'll kill us all! Oh my god, what's happening? The chest is open, guys. The scepter's coming out. The scepter! It's missing a piece! That's not good. Nope, that's not good at all. So what, that means we've got to do more? Oh my god, it's this dude. So, this is where the key to my prison was stored away. 
Impressive work. All switches activated, the big door opened, and the treasure ready to be plundered. Uh, I fear this is the part where I come in and take all of your hard work for myself. No! Since I'm not the only one in this we room that still had this. Consider it a small part of the payback for what was done to me. Plus, I need to make sure history doesn't repeat itself. We had no choice! They were going to destroy us all! You did have a choice, and you chose wrong. Where are the Sheriff and the Sergeant? Surely me coming in here and taking the scepter wasn't part of your grand plan. I... I don't know where they are. I'll tell you, they are hiding like the cowards you all are. But I'll find them, and all will pay. Seems the scepter is incomplete too. Are you going to tell me where the missing piece is, or am I going to have to eat your pit kitty? What the heck? We won't be doing any of that. Forget what happened between us before. You know you've always been my friend. But what are friends for if not for times like these? Guys, I have no idea what's happening right now. What's he doing? Did he just kill him? Oh! No, he transformed him. What the heck is that? Guys, what the heck? They're fighting, they're throwing down! Nav Nav just got gigantic! Run! Oh my god, we're going! Alright, where are we going? This way? We didn't even get the scepter! What the heck? That was abrupt, so he caused Nav Nav to evolve, and then, like, basically... Nav Nav just messed up the, uh... slug-looking dude. And now we're running through a hedge maze. Just path of a course with Gardener Bam Bam and don't question it, just roll with it. Go, go, go. This is a long maze. What do we do now? I, I don't think I can go. What? What do you mean? You wouldn't understand. They appreciate my job. I told you guys he was going to do Who's this. They? This is my one chance to have an audience. And I am going to take it. Goodbye. No. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we got to keep going then, I guess. We're going down the elevator. This has got to be the end of the chapter because you always go down the elevator at the end of the chapter, right? Come on, Bam Bam. I'm in. Get in. Bro. Oh. And this is where they realized that everything they have worked so hard for was all for nothing. What the heck? Both of you There's will a be gang. a fine addition to my army. Together and under my command, we will finish what the queen couldn't. I'll hold him off. Look for the surgeon. Okay. So, Bam Bam's gonna try and hold all of those people off. Now, I don't know, um... Yeah, I don't know how well that's gonna go. I guess... That's very loud, guys. I guess he could turn into his demon form, I was going to say, before my ears were blown out by that noise. Maybe he turns into his demon form and he, like, just messes everyone up. Who knows? But, you know, Bam Bam's kind of outnumbered there. There you go, guys. Thanks for playing. You can wishlist the sequel there, Garden of Bam Bam 7. That was a long chapter. Uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay, guys. So, um... First of all, massive thanks to the developer for the early copy. I will give them a little bit of feedback in that I think the puzzles in this stage were a bit, like, obscure sometimes and um, also drawn out, like, especially that statue puzzle. It has some points, I think, that just need to be designed a little better for me to uh, enjoy it. And I think the worst thing about it was the amount of backtracking that you had to do in it because 
there really was a lot of back and forth in this chapter and it did feel like it just dragged on a bit. I think there were some cool moments, like the, the sort of scripted moments were pretty kind of outrageous and, and amazing. The dream sequence as always was entertaining, the bit at the end where Nab Nab transforms. As always, I do like this game because there is a lot of variety in it and there are also a lot of crazy ideas, like the developers really like to just throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. And I kind of like that in a way. Uh, this was Garden of Batman 6 anyway guys, 7's up for pre-order now or wishlist I should say, so if you want to go wishlist it, go and do that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed watching my playthrough, it might even be two videos because this took me so long to record. With that said, if you have enjoyed this video I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.